Normally, I hate the screeching sound of my alarm, but on travel days, it's the only thing that excites me. It could be 2.30 in the morning or 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and nothing will excite me more than that alarm. Today, I'll be talking about my four joys of traveling. There can be problems that happen when traveling, like the flight getting delayed or potentially missing your flight, but I, I honestly think it's more fun that way. I'm a very spontaneous, positive, and go with the flow person, so some people might not agree when I say that these are the joys of traveling. The number one joy of traveling is waking up early and driving on the dead streets. You pull into the RDU airport and it's silent. We rush out of the car and unload our many overweight suitcases. From the moment you walk in the airport, you can just smell the airport smell. It smells the same at every airport, but it's kind of indescribable. You also kind of get blinded from the bright lights after just walking outside in the dark. You also hear the beeping from TSA. Then you have to go through TSA and security, and that's very stressful because they're always screaming at you for absolutely no reason at all. And it makes my anxiety get kind of crazy. And I feel like I have something on me that I shouldn't, but I know I don't. So I kind of just give myself a mini panic attack for no reason at all. But that's just the joy of traveling. The second joy of traveling is seeing a new place, trying new foods, and of course, the shopping. The shopping is always different. In Mexico, you see huts and tiny stores down dead alleyways. They always sell colorful, bright blankets, wooden bowls with either flowers or sea pills on them, and, paint and paintings on stone. If you go anywhere in the Caribbean or an island, they sell seashells, but you can't actually leave the country with them. So they'll sell them to you, and then TSA will throw them out. So we've gotten pretty good at hiding stuff in our suitcase. If you go to Paris or London, all you will see is designer stores. Down every single street, there's either Louis Vuitton or Chanel with a huge line wrapped around the building. Each place sounds and smells very different. When we go to Paris, you hear very romantic music, usually without any lyrics, and all you smell is crepes, coffee, and croissants. There's a bakery everywhere you live that makes you very hungry and all you want to do is eat. In Scotland, we heard tons of bagpipes and saw a sign saying fish and chips. All of the streets are filled with scents <laughs> with a grease and salty air. Um, it also just might be me, but when we go to any tropical island, I only smell salt. <laughs> and I think it's just in my head because everything kind of tastes salty too. The third joy of traveling is being adventurous and spontaneous. When I went to Europe last summer, I went with my sister, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, and baby cousin. We were in Scotland eating at an Italian restaurant and we decided we want to go to Paris. So we sat down, had lunch, and planned our whole Paris trip one day, in, in one day. Right after Scotland, we're headed to London, so we figured we'd just extend the trip and from London hop on a train to Paris. So we did that. But the problem was, is that we all had at least two to three suitcases and we could not fit 14 suitcases on the train. So we had to leave one at the hotel and take the other one with us. We hopped on the train to Paris and got an Airbnb, which was a huge mistake because it was absolutely disgusting. The floor was all black and it made my baby cousin get his knees all dirty from the dust on the floor. My bougie grandfather said we are not staying here and we're going to get a hotel. So we drove 45 minutes to Versailles, spent a night there, then drove back to Paris, spent a night there, then took a train back to London, spent a night there, and got up early in the morning to go back home. This is my absolute favorite joy of traveling because I love being spontaneous and adding more adventure to the trip. Now this joy might be a little controversial, but I find it so much fun when our flight gets delayed or we're potentially going to miss the flight. I don't wish for this to happen, but I can't help but laugh every time it does. One time in Aruba, we had a nightmare in the airport. The Aruba airport is absolutely awful and it takes hours and hours to get through security. We were standing in line and we realized we missed our flight. So <laughs> we finally got out of security and we decided to still sprint to our gate to hope our plane is still there. It wasn't. So my mom and I, who hate running, <laughs> were very out of breath because we were running very fast and we couldn't stop laughing. Long story short, we missed our flight and almost our connecting flight, but we eventually made it home without our suitcases though. Um, but we laugh about it all the time. There are many, many joys of traveling, but these are definitely my top four. A lot of people will not agree with me on this, but in my opinion, these crazy chaotic moments are what make the best memories. It is also the only time I look forward to hearing that awful screeching alarm go off.